Absolutely. I mean, young Paul Maltato, young Boris Singh. Boris came on, could and sh probably should have had a, a, a goal, but great save from Diraj, another young, talented Indian goalkeeper. Uh, so, yeah, we're delighted with Komal, we're delighted with Boris. And obviously the blow with losing Farouk provides opportunities that those boys were always going to get. That's why I brought them to the club. We like them, they're young, they're exciting, they will get better. And at Jamshed, we pride ourselves, we've got a history of giving young players opportunities, and that's what we'll continue to do. Yes, I, I think the head coaches will tell you this year it is a real dilemma, obviously with four from six. I'm very fortunate that there are six players that I'm delighted with, with every one of them. It was a tough decision tonight not to start Eli Sabia. He's one of the best centre-backs in, in, in the league and he has a fantastic partnership with Peter Hartley. But, you know, Greg's now, he's not, still not fully fit, Greg Stewart. There's more to come from Greg Stewart. Mark my words, he'll continue to get better. Jordan Murray's still not quite 100% yet, so obviously Jordan came in and gave us 15, 20 minutes. But when he's fully fit, I mean, the, the, the challenge a head coach, but it's a good problem to have because you want that problem because they're playing well. You don't want when they're all out of sorts and they're not playing well you could take any of them it's a real problem every week but that's the problem the head coaches want but I've got to say that ally to our young Indian players they're all getting better it was a tremendous performance tonight we scored three goals we could have five or six if truth be told and that's against a very good FC goal side so we've got a we're disappointed in ourselves a little bit because we felt we didn't play as well as we would have liked to against East Bengal and that was a game we felt we probably should have won but with a better performance we could have uh, more easily than obviously than the one the, the one one draw. That being said, we had to pick ourselves up which we did and we came out tonight, gave a great performance. The thing is now that's finished. We have to get ready for the next one and continue to be consistent with those performances. If we are, we've shown that we can score goals and be a team that's pleasing on the eye but can also win games. No no I was expecting that game. I mean FC Goal weren't bad in the game. I mean the thing about FC Goal when you play them, certainly from my experience, you have to work so hard against the ball because Badia and Naguer and Ortiz, they move you, they pass and move, the young wingers have got coming off the sides. So we had to make sure we were focused, disciplined, a good shape against the ball, but knowing when we turned it over, which we're capable of doing because we play at high intensity, that we had to go with real speed, real you know speed of thought and be positive in what we did. And that's what we did tonight and it came really well together. But you know, FC Goal weren't poor tonight. They had some chances, uh, TP a couple of good saves. And FC Goal will go and win games. The business end, I know they've lost two games. They'll be there at the end of the season. Don't you worry about that. No, no, it's not revenge. I mean, Jim Shed, if it's revenge, Jim Shed, we haven't beaten FC Go in the last eight games, you know, way before my time. But of course, last year, we know we scored a great goal with Alex Lima in the 89th minute that would have been a match winner on, on any other day. And, uh, and ultimately, that was a big six-point swing. But anyway, that was last season. We can't affect that. And that's why I said prior to the game, the previous eight games when Jim Shed haven't beaten FC Go had no bearing on tonight. What was going to decide tonight was the two teams, who was the best team on the night. And tonight that was FC Jumpshed uh, Pair FC, there's no doubt about that, against a very good FC go aside. But from the first whistle, I was delighted with, with how we went about it. Komal scored a very good goal, I get, I get it, probably there was a little bit of interference, so it's disallowed. But the play from the kid was sensational, uh, I mean he was a thorn in their side all night. Uh, then it looked to me a stonewall penalty and Greg Stewart in the first half. Len's got a wonderful chance when he's in and should probably score. So we're creating chances even though it was 0-0 at half time and we knew if we continued to play with that intensity, we would create chances. We have goal scorers. And again, we just need to be more clinical moving forward. Yeah, I'm delighted, but that's something that, that's not just happened out of thin air. We've worked on that in training, that movement, the, the little interplay between the two of them. They like playing with each other. They're very comfortable. They're clever, clever footballers. And you've seen that, and the step over, the layoff, the touch, the, just a fantastic football goal. And that's something that we need. But to do that, we need good quality of ball into them. Something we've been working on, as you know, because you're there every day, you've seen the hard work in the training ground. And it's nice when the work from the training ground comes onto the field, as it did against East Bengal with the set play, the work we do, and it, then it comes into fruition in games. It's always nice when that happens. <laughs> of course, no, I expect this uh, this game. Of course, no, uh, but uh, uh, but uh, I think after the, the the first goal, the team was more pressured. The team was not more confident. Uh, and the end, uh, you know, it's uh, it's difficult uh, moment for the team. Of, and then after uh, zero two, you know, the emotions, uh, the mentality of the team. It's difficult, it's difficult. And this is, uh, I think, uh, all of course psychology, but if you want to tell about the uh, tactical, we play all the time the same style. style. But 100% uh, is uh, it's about the mentality. Physical, no, because uh, was playing during the cup, we play a lot. This is not a problem. It's, of course, it's a me mentality, and also I, am, I have the responsibility of the control the, the emotions of the dressing room. Pressure, uh, I think this is not the word. I am upset. Uh, I am upset. Pressure, no. Upset.
No, no, we know, but uh, sometimes uh, the players are working hard because they are not 100% uh, in performance for some injuries, uh, some for some problems. Um, um, but I'm, in this case, I'm happy because they try to do the best in the pitch. Of course, it's, diffi it's difficult when in the lineup three, four, five players they have problems, and but they want to help the team. In this case, for me, I'm happy. But uh, it's difficult at the end to, to play 90 minutes in, uh, in high intensity.